Hey everybody, welcome back to Andrew the Cuber. Today, I'm gonna see if artificial intelligence can solve a Rubik's Cube. The AI I'm gonna be using is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI that's sole purpose is to help you with any question you may have. It can write essays, help you with your homework, give you code, or possibly solve a Rubik's Cube. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but we're gonna see if it can. So I have a chat uh, started up here. I'm gonna scramble this thing up and uh, get it to solve this scramble. All right, scrambled. AI is gonna solve this 100%. So I guess we start off with the obvious question. How do I solve a Rubik's Cube? Solving a Rubik's Cube can be challenging at first, but with practice and systematic approach, you can become proficient at it. Proficient. It knows what it's talking about. Here's the beginner's method to solve the Rubik's Cube, commonly known as the layer by layer method. No one calls it that. ChatGPT, come on. Oh God, it's giving me a Bible. I, I don't know if I have the motivation for this, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's still rambling. Oh, it's step 10. Since when were there 10 steps? This has got to be the most inefficient method I've ever seen. Well, let's see if we can follow this. Step one, familiarize yourself with the cube. Two, three, four, five, six. It's definitely a cube. Yeah, I think I know what the Rubik's Cube is. Solve one face. <laughs> easy. Man, that's too easy. Let's go. I'm gonna make the green face next. I'm, I'm getting confident. I'm, I'm, wait, no, hold on. No, what did, solve one face, the first layer. Are you not gonna tell me how? Oh, step three, okay, I, I, I gotta pay attention. Wait, one face completed. Wait, no, I actually have to solve the face. Oh, Jesus, ChatGPT, that's not how you do it. I've made an F2L pair and it's annoying me so much, much better. With one face completed, focus on solving the four edges of the first layer. This involves manipulating the middle layer while keeping the soft face intact. No. Okay, yeah, this, this goes about the beginner method. Uh, it doesn't explain anything it's doing. It's really just bad. I wouldn't rely on ChatGPT to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube at all. Yeah, I'm just doing basic OLA at this point. Oh my God, ChatGPT solved my cube. Okay, let's ask it to go more in depth about solving this. This response is very vague. Tell me precisely how to solve the lay, the, the edges. Solve the face, solve the first edges. Oh, it's actually giving me information. Okay, I missed that. The following algorithm. Oh, it knows the sexy move and the sledge. Wait, no, you use this, you use sexy move for corners, not edges. What? Look for a piece that belongs in the middle layer. The middle layer? Okay, so look, in layman's terms, basically what it's telling me is I solve the first face and then put all the pieces in the right spot, but you literally might as well just put them in the right spot to begin with. But hey, we'll do it ChatGPT's way. It must know what it's talking about. It's AI. AI is the future. Look for an edge piece that belongs to the... No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna solve the uh, first face. It's annoying that it doesn't tell me how to do that. I mean, like, if I'm a noob and I want ChatGPT to tell me how to solve a Rubik's Cube, you know, I'm not just gonna know how to solve one face. Look for an edge piece that belongs to the middle layer and matches the color of the center of the adjacent face. So basically what it's telling me is I'm looking for this, an edge piece of the white face that matches with the centerpiece. I think, I don't know why it's going into the middle layer. Oh, you know, this is the middle layer. Once you find such an edge, follow these steps. Rotate the cube if necessary to bring the unsolved edge unsolved. You're telling me to look for a solved one. I have a U-perm. I might as well do a U-perm. That was the wrong U-perm. Look, I solved it. I did it. I'm so good at Rubik's. Okay, undo that. Back to where we were. Okay, bring the unsolved edge. I'm choosing this one to the middle layer on the right hand side. So here, on the right-hand side, or the middle layer? On the right-hand side? It's the middle. There's no right-hand side. I'm gonna have a conniption. Off the edges. That's what you just told me to do! Okay, I'm gonna scramble up my cube, tell it exactly what my cube looks like, and ask for an algorithm to solve that cube. There's already AI technology that works this way, and ChatGPT is trained on, like, everything in the internet, so it must work. Red. Orange. No, 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 Okay, while writing this, I accidentally pressed enter around here, but um, I, I have the, this is, this is what the cube looks like. This is an accurate description. I'm hoping it gets the orientation right. Save and submit. Give me my alg. Based in the description. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hold it uh, in this orientation. Solve the white cross. Hmm. Let's see if this solves the white cross. I doubt it.
That's a T-Per. It's giving me random algorithms. This is a normal algorithm. Congratulations if you follow these algorithms correctly. Oh, oh, it's my fault. It's my fault, that's what I was trying to say. The cross isn't even solved. I have one cross piece in the, in the correct spot and that's the closest I've ever gotten to solving this thing. My Rubik's isn't solved. Help me, please. Apologies for the confusion. If your Rubik's Cube is not solved despite following the provided algorithm, that clearly works. Let's try a different approach. What? No, you actual idiot. It's in a different scramble now. It's not gonna work. So in conclusion, ChatGPT cannot solve a Rubik's Cube despite what it might tell you. Don't listen to this thing. It's a lying idiot. So this has been a fun little challenge. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. I have a Discord server. I want you to join it. I literally put the link in the description for you to join it. I want you to do it right now. Exit the video. The video's over, okay? Join it! So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.